This is a video for learning how to use Write to Learn. Of course, before you can use Write to Learn, you've got to actually find that initial assignment in Compass. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a student. And of course, when you log in, um, Write to Learn assignments, if you look on your agenda, it's going to say is located in Language Arts. And it would be labeled, of course, probably for the week that you're working on along with saying right to learn. So if I look throughout my launch thread, I'm going to notice we have four, um, nine, four through seven right to learn. So I'm going to click on that and click on the assignment. Now if I go ahead and read the instructions of what says, it's going to go ahead and tell me, I'm going to paste these to the draft so I can always refer back to them. It says click on the web link for right to learn. Um, your login should be the same as your username and password for Compass. And then it says login to right to learn and then you will find a prompt in the program that you should be working on. Now I want you to realize you may have multiple prompts, but what prompt to do is absolutely crucial and you're going to find that here. It says if you're in fourth grade, your prompt this time around is about an adventure. And if you're in fifth grade, it's going to be about the beginning of a school year. Okay, and then you may do this assignment up to five times to get a passing score. Make sure you try your best and take the take the advice the program gives you to better your writing. So if you're a fourth grader, you're going to be doing um, a prompt on adventure. And if you're a fifth grader, you're going to be doing the prompt on a new school year. So it says to click on the web link. So I'm going to click on the web link. And this is your Write to Learn um, login page. You're going to have your login. It's going to be the same username and password as Compass. in. It's going to bring you where it says welcome back, where it says going to say welcome if you haven't been welcomed back, um, if it's your first time. And it's going to tell you right here, here is your um, your prompt. And this prompt, obviously, the kiddo is going to be a fifth grader, so it was the beginning of the year. It's an essay. We're ready to begin, and it's going to give you six tries, okay? So your first one, and then five more tries after that. So I'm going to click on essay. And then I'm going to go ahead and read the prompt. The prompt is write a composition about the changes you experienced at the beginning of the new school year. Be sure to include how you had to adjust it to a new teacher, a new classmates, and how you had to adjust to a new routine after your summer break. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to think about it. And if you think about it, it gives you a tip right here. It says, think back to when you started a new school year. Well, guess what, guys? You guys just started a new school year. So think about the first day of school. What happened when you first went into the classroom? Who did you see? What did you notice? And for some of you, it wasn't even walking into the classroom. It was turning on the computer and getting into your virtual classroom through Compass. So these are some things I want you to think about, okay? So you're thinking about this. This is kind of your proofreading thought process. But what you type here, of course, is going to be the actual initial essay. If you want to take the time to do a plan of a think about on a separate sheet of paper, if that's going to help you start um, writing better, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start typing. I'm not going to put my name or date or anything on this. I'm just going to start typing the composition, which is basically a um, an essay. So I'm start off with saying when I began a new school year, I felt very nervous. Uh, when I walked into the room, everything was unfamiliar and I was very scared. Okay? I made friends and then I learned how to multiply and divide. And I'm spelling a word wrong here for a reason, okay? So now, all right, I'm done. Even though it says up at the top here where it says expected essay length, 150 to 650 words, I could get a word count and say, okay, how many words do I have right now? Well, 
you're only 36 words. It's saying you need at least 50 words to get a score. <sighs> okay, I better go back and write. So maybe I need to add more details. So I made friends and then I learned how to multiply and divide. Uh, my friends' names are Molly and Joe. We like to play outside for recess. We sit together for during lunchtime. I tell them all my secrets. Now are you noticing I'm not necessarily staying on topic? So I want you to take that into consideration as well. Let's get a word count. Okay, I have 62 words. Now it's not 150 words, but at least I have 62 words, okay? So now I'm going to go down here where it says get feedback. You click on get feedback it's going to literally give you instant feedback, okay? It's telling me right now I only have a score of a one. I need at least a score of a three to do better, okay? So right now it's saying my ideas are a one, my organization is a one, my convection, conventions, which means my, um, my punctuation is inappropriate, my sentence fluency, it's getting better, it's at a two, my word choice, I'm not using the same words over and over, so I'm doing good. And my voice is good, which means, um, not the way I'm speaking, but it means that I'm using my own opinions here. And then if you look down here at the editing tools, it says that I have a few misspelled words and a few grammatical errors that are detected. But I haven't repeated anything, so my rep um, the repeated is excellent. But my grammar and spelling are almost. Okay, you can click to go to the spelling correction tool, say, oh, I need help. So I have almost all my words right. Ding, 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 ding. It's saying this word right here, divide, is spelled wrong. And then it gives you all these choices of how to spell divide right. Well, that's how I spell divide. I'm going to go ahead and apply it and change it, and then I'm going to get out of my spell check. Okay. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to say, oh, let's check my grammar. Let's see where the grammar problems are. I made friends and then. They're saying a comma may be missing. So I may need to add a comma, so I'm going to go ahead and put a comma and apply the change. My friends' names. Hmm. Let's click on this one. My friends. My friends, they're possessive, so I need an apostrophe. And I apply that. And then I'm going to exit my grammar. Okay. Doesn't tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay. It's just giving that, that tool to go ahead to. All right. So I've already done it. I need. I need to now know. I need to go back and change because everything's been changed that I did in the checks. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back and fix. Um, it says note the differences. Oh, okay. Let's read this. How was the school year different from last? Did you recognize a lot of the same people? And did your classroom look the same as your old room? Oh, okay. So when I began a new school, began at, I should probably say at a new school, I felt very nervous. And why don't we say school year? Okay, and then after say a new school year, I could say I was nervous because I started a new I started at a brand new school. I knew no one. When I walked into the room, everything was unfamiliar and I was scared. I made friends and then I learned how to multiply and divide. My friends' names are... Okay, so if I made friends, how about I say... We could maybe, you know, fix that a little bit more. But I'm going to now show you what I need to do next. Now I had to hit the Get Feedback. Notice now I only have four tries left. Okay, I'm at a two. All right, my spelling's great, my grammar's great, and there's no repeated words. Okay, but I need to work on my ideas and my organization, and it's too short, so I need to get more words in there. Okay, so now I would go down here, and I would go ahead and continue to work on this. All right, let's just say I've looked at this for too long. Click the Save Essay. Okay, so it's been saved, so you can always go back to it. And then let's say you want to log out. And right here is where you're going to log out. 
and it's going to ask you, you sure you want to exit? You're going to say yes, and then it logs you out. Now, this is just a quick tutorial of how to do the, the right to learn. There are some more components that I did not um, point out, and if you have questions about those, please do not hesitate to contact me, but at least you now know where you're going to get started. Okay, there are some questions that you have to answer for last video, and those were questions were how do I log, on, log in? And of course, you log in by going in Compass, and you click on that web link, and once you click on the web link, it's going to take you right to the login page. You can log in, and password are going to be the exact same as Compass. How do you know what assignment to do? You're going to know what assignment to do because it's going to be located right in Compass. It's going to tell you, like right here, it's going to say, fourth grade, your prompt is, and it tells you what your prompt is, and fifth grade, your prompt is, okay? And then how do I know I'm done? You're going to know you're done because all your chances are going to be gone, or you're going to have a score of three or higher, and that's how you're going to know you're finished. Okay, that goes ahead and concludes this link. If you have any further questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me.